girl. Really? Uh, so, so, so you mean to tell me that Sexy Red, Lotto, and Ice Spice are going back and forth about true religion genes? Are, are we in high school, ladies? Are we in the lunchroom? With the chocolate milk talking about who got the bigger horseshoe on the back of their pants. No, you got the little horseshoe. You ain't getting money like that. I got the big boot cuts. Remember the boot cuts with the Timberland jeans? Is that what we arguing about? Some of y'all got kids, sexy red. But you, okay, let's, let's, let's start from the beginning. So sexy red reposted somebody on her Instagram story. And she said... All these celebrities wasn't wearing true religion until Sexy Red came out. And we all know that Sexy Red didn't start true religion. It didn't came out, went out of style, and now it's coming back. And I get it. This is Sexy Red's image. She's the girl on the block with the gum smacking her lips. Hair all type of different colors with the long nails. Sometimes she ain't got on no nails. Sometimes she 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 ain't got her toes done, but she still got the trues on, the BB belt, the Gucci belt. Okay, I'm surprised she ain't got no Soldier Boy glasses with the name written on them. Okay, but she is trying to take it back to the hood rat streets. But she ain't the creator of no true religion. Okay, okay, okay. So I don't know why people felt like they had to respond to this. But people started getting on Lotto's head, and this is why she felt like it was a shot to her because she was wearing True Religion the other day with one of her friends. And so she came out, and she said, they be knowing what they doing, LOL, very weird. If you not from Atlanta, you know how, to, you know how they say that when they down south, from Atlanta, Atlanta, this not for you. And so she started posting pictures of her wearing True Religion. So you see, this is a newer picture of her wearing true religion. This is an old picture of her with a true religion shirt on. Her hair was covering up. It just say true. This might have been some fake true. I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying. Okay. And you know it's an old picture because Lotto head bigger than her body. But anyway, somebody else went on Twitter and they defended Lotto and she reposted it. It said, I find it weird how every little thing Lotto does Y'all say she copying someone. Meanwhile, she been doing it before that person blew up. And yeah, I have seen Lotto wear a lot of true religion. If y'all don't know, true is kind of coming back. They've been paying a lot of people behind the scenes. See, that's the part a lot of y'all don't know. A lot of these people, uh, NLE Chopper, a lot of them getting paid to wear true religion. They might be true religion ambassadors, but they getting paid to wear it. So that's why you see a lot of people wearing it. That marketing budget is crazy. They need to hit me up. I ain't never owned a pair of True Religions, but for the check, I be you'd up, okay? Anyway, so yeah, Lotto was wearing True, but she didn't make that her image. A lot of people attach that style to kind of being ratchet. They attach it to the dope boys and the dope men, and that's the vibe that sexy red is trying to embrace but that don't mean that you know anybody else don't have a right to be wearing true religion okay and then i spice got involved and she said these girls not taking nothing from me but notes and so you see her wearing the true religion jeans and she got the little thong poking and see in new york y'all remember when six nine was popping he used to wear the bb belt around his waist he didn't even put the belt on okay and so somebody came and they said truthfully them girls ain't start back dressing in the jeans bb belts and jackets mainstream until ice spice did it for the in her move video it doesn't matter who was doing it before fame you stopped and started back when you saw the look was coming back last year and I Spice said, I hate a girl with no identity. All right. Now, Sexy Red responded to Lotto. And before I get into the response, I got to let y'all know. Y'all cannot spell Sexy Red name with one Y. It's spelled with two Ys because she extra sexy. Okay. Extra spicy. 
and extra sexy. So it's two Y's. If you spell it with one Y, she don't know who you talking about, okay? She made that public announcement today, all right? Anyway, she was in the comments of the neighborhood talk, and she said, definitely not shading her. I'm direct with whatever I got to say. So she's saying, if I said something about Lotto, I'm going to let it be known it was about Lotto. And I do agree with sexy because it's a lot of girls jocking that style. I saw Sukiyana. She was in like a skit yesterday where they was doing lean with it, rock with it, and she was dressed up kind of like a hood dude. But you're going to see a lot of people taking that style. Not to mention, I think Cardi B posted a picture yesterday with her sister where she had on some Robin jeans. So a lot of people are starting to do that style again. I don't even really think it matters where it started. All I think matters is it ain't new and it's vintage. And, and everybody, we've seen this over the last 10 years. People go into their vintage bag, okay? And everybody's getting back into the baggy style. So, of course, people are bringing back one of the kings of the baggy style, true religion, right? So then Lotto had to jump back in and this fan is making the same point I make in every video I do about Lotto. They said the fact that you're trying to prove that you was wearing true is crazy. And that is a fact. Lotto, you do not have to respond to everything and everybody. Last week, she was responding to some rapper who I have never heard of in my entire 26 years of life. Who was that girl that Lotto was responding to talking about she ghostwritten, took a bar from her? Who was that? No disrespect to her, but she is not on the level of Lotto to be responding to her. So Lotto said, know what's crazy is y'all accuse me of copying any and everything. When I prove y'all wrong, I'm doing too much. Yes, you're doing too much. You got awards. You got hits. You got a song with Mariah Carey. You're above this, Lotto. You are. And you too pretty to be acting like this. I'm going to be real. Sometimes you make yourself look a little bit uglier when you involve yourself in ugly things. And this is, I feel like I'm doing a video about grown women going back and forth about true religion. I feel like a hood rat just putting this video on YouTube. Lotto, you should feel crazy digging up. What you gonna do? You went and got your, uh, your razor, your Motorola razor, the flip phone. And, and, and you text message yourself some old pictures of you wearing true religion. Did you go get your sidekick and get the old true religion pictures? Come on, baby. It, it, it's it's not that serious. And I get it. If, if, if you ain't from Atlanta, it, it, it's not for you. Okay, I guess I'm just not from Atlanta, okay? Y'all let me know what y'all think. Who is the true queen of true religion? Who really started bringing the style back? Or is it all just a bunch of nonsense? Make sure you like the video and subscribe. Hardest working man on YouTube. Let's get to 100K. I love y'all. I'll see y'all next time. Peace.